What's up YouTube? Superior Scrapper back again. Today I'm just talking about eBay sales that I did this week. Not a huge eBay seller but I still like to dabble a bit in eBay. It's always good to explore all the avenues of selling so I thought I'd cover a little bit on what I did this week on on eBay. So I'll start off I made seven sales which as I said I don't sell a huge amount anyway so check this out so this is a here now is the Suzuki LT80 carburetor it's a genuine part I actually get a lot of these parts because I pick up non-running or broken little Suzuki quads and actually sell a lot of them on eBay loads of parts and uh, Sorry about that, I was just checking out some other things on YouTube. Yeah, so did alright. It was missing the throttle cable was stretched out on it, so I just decided to list it up pretty cheap. $21.99 plus $14.99 shipping, so it's all pretty quick, which was handy. I think I did about uh, hundred and twenty quid this week or so on the eBay. But yeah, moving on then some under armour new with the tag sleeveless shirt. That was actually my own, I bought it. Uh, it was new with the tags, I never wore it, so I just decided, look, I'll stick it up for what I paid for it. Get my money back, you know, not to have money sitting around in the house. So yeah, sold that out, shipped it out to some guy in Thailand. That went out $24.99. Accepted best offer on it. Then um, on to the next one, the same again. I had more Under Armour tops that I wasn't, wearing anymore did a lot of three of them for 20 bucks which is okay <laughs> then i had a sherco motorcycle jacket with removable sleeves sold that out to spain 29.99 plus shipping that's it there that sold as well pretty quick pretty handy um have the mannequin there for advertising stuff on that and uh yeah that was Pretty handy sale as well. Then I just sold out some uh, a fuel cap for the same Suzuki LT50. That's it there. Accepted best offer of seven dollars plus shipping. And uh, then finally it was just a little Zippo lighter, which was a. Uh, Call of Duty, I picked it, picked it up, some thrift store kind of, picked it up for $2, sold it for $10.99, not huge profit but it's just a hobby really you know, if I'm not busy scrapping or with pallets so I was actually sick this week so I said if I'm sitting at home I might as well be doing something you know so I just listed a few things on eBay. I uh, try to keep consistent enough, you know, sell a few things every week, but I uh, don't get crazy involved in it. But I want to uh, improve my sales a good bit on it, you know. But uh, yeah, handy enough week. Did about $120, I think, in total. And that's without shipping, you know, I charge extra for the shipping. One thing actually, I did have a uh, bit of a problem with before in the past was uh, when you're paying for the shipping you know if so if you're new enough to eBay their uh, PayPal will hold the money for up to 28 days and you know if you're using your money to pay for the shipping from your nine to five job that you've already paid the tax on that money you know it can get a bit annoying so what I actually did was off the cash sales I was selling on the Irish version of Craigslist on stuff that I was selling, kind of random stuff. I uh, put aside about 300, equivalent to about $300 over the space of a month or so. And I said, and I said uh, that I'd use that for the shipping on eBay to kind of, uh, here's just a quick view of a couple of things I have active at the moment. Um, just random bits and pieces, you know, nothing crazy, you know. 
But uh, yeah, so I said I'd put away, put aside that money and I'd use that for shipping on eBay so that I wouldn't have to spend any of my income that I already paid tax on, you know. So yeah, guys, just a quick video on what I'd be selling on eBay. I'm gonna, I'm just having a coffee here now and I'm gonna start listing a few more things online on eBay and on adverts.ie, which is the, uh, it's kind of like Craigslist or whatever online classifieds website. But, um, yeah, so, other than that, next Saturday there's going to be another episode of Side Money Saturdays coming up. I'm going to be doing a bit more scrapping, selling a few more pallets, and maybe a few face-to-face -face sales as well, um, which should be good fun. So, if you haven't seen episode one already, I'm going to put the link in the description so you can... Click on that and give it a watch if you haven't already seen it. And uh, I want to say thanks to everybody who's already watched all my videos. And thanks to everyone who's subscribed to the channel. It's growing slowly but surely. I'm trying to get 100 subscribers. So if you could, if you think my videos are good and you're enjoying the content. Sure why not become a subscriber. And uh I think I've got like 29 subscribers now, so if I could get 100, I'd be delighted. But I'm happy enough now, you know, with the subscribers that I do have. Um, and then, uh, actually, one thing I wanted to ask you about was, you've seen my beagle, Bailey, in the previous videos. He's actually asleep here beside me. One thing that I have noticed with this dog, right, he sheds like crazy. I don't know what... It's a story with him. He's looking a bit suspicious there, but if you just check that out. I don't know if you can see that on there, but he really sheds bad. So if any of you is like look at that bed. It's covered in hairs. And that bed's only about a week old. He's feeling a bit lazy now because we were out. Doing a bit of exercise today. But uh yeah, if you have any suggestions on how to uh de hair a beagle because it seems to be the breed that's uh, especially bad for shedding hit me up in the comments below because he definitely sheds a lot and uh drives me crazy and you know when i even when i get him groomed still i don't get him groomed that often because it's a waste of money but even at that you know it uh he sheds really badly and it's very annoying. But anyway, yeah, that's it anyway. Just a quick video on eBay and that. If you'd like to see more videos on eBay, let me know in the comments. But uh, other than that, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you like my content. Like this video and I will see you on the next video.